Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, just pulled the hanging tag off a great new arrival. This is a really cool car. I had a, uh, a long conversation with the, uh, the previous owner's wife about this. He moved on in this world, and uh, this guy loved, loved cars. And this is, uh, they were going to retire, and they were going to move to uh, uh, a nice place and take this car with them. That was part of the plan. And unfortunately, he checked out a little bit early. So she wanted to make sure, and this was very important. We were in, written up in the Costco magazine. She wanted to make sure that this vehicle here went to uh, the right person, like a car person. The reason why is there weren't a lot of these made. This car has been driven less than 2,000 miles a year, and it's all original. And it's talking about pristine condition. It is spectacular. And one of the nice things about it is, uh, uh, is the condition is, is not only spectacular, the T-tops come out and it's got great, great colors, and it's really, really weathered uh, the test of time as far as style, I think. So this is the uh, 50th anniversary edition of the 300ZX. It's also the 300ZX Turbo. So uh, you're getting everything that uh, uh, performance-wise. It even came with this cool um, voice. I don't know if you remember hearing this. Check that out. Can you hear it? And that voice can be turned off. There's a switch in the glove box. You know, the one thing about these cars is they were very expensive. The reason they were very expensive for their time is they had every option that Nissan uh, could pack into a car, regardless of the range, the Maximas, the trucks, the, the 300 ZXs. It was their showcase for technology uh, against some uh, uh, much lesser cars. The colors on this car are awesome. I love the gold inside the wheels. Uh, you know, we talk about quality of cars, and if you really love a car, spending money on a, on a, on a set of tires, uh, because you love the car, not putting a set of cheap tires on because you're looking to get rid of it. And of course, on here, Pirelli P0s all the way around, nice fresh set, even the little nipples are still around the corners of the tires. It's just so beautifully done. Um, so anyway, so here's a weird thing, which is, uh, it's the good and bad of this car is, you know, this car is all original and was shipped uh, back when they made them in Japan. So to ship them over here, they had to spray this chemical on them called Cosmoline. And it's uh, this yellowish uh, film that uh, typically the dealers would, would take off the cars when the cars came into port. This car did not because it got sold right away. Uh, and they were getting quite a bit over sticker at the time. So we'll take a peek under here for a second. Although the engine looks like it's dirty, the truth of the matter is it's really not dirty at all. This is all Cosmoline, which is an anti-rust inhibitor. So uh, like if the car was coming from overseas to keep the salt water and things like that from, from uh, uh, making these cars rust out quicker, uh, they sprayed this with this chemical. They still do it today, but they rinse it off of the dealer and they did not do it on this model here. The good news is it's fully protected. So if you used kerosene, you would spray kerosene all on here, right here, and power wash it off. And this engine compartment would be pristine. I didn't want to take that off because I didn't want uh, to uh, alter the, the, you know, the authenticity of the car and let the next person do that. But we could do that for you if you wanted to, just ask us and uh, we'll see how uh, quickly we can get that done. That's really cool. You're talking about air conditioning, you're talking about turbocharged V6, three liters, plenty of power. We just put a brand new clutch in this. Uh, the clutch was still good, but it was kind of iffy and uh, we just installed it when it came in here. So that's uh, pretty much all we've done to the car other than get it uh, state inspected. Got the cold air induction. It's got a great front end on the car. I just think it looks really nice. Front and rear spoilers. I love the T-tops, the way they come out. But let's check out the interior for a second because the interior is a showcase of, uh, of interesting things. This is kind of cool. Like this has every single imaginary feature you can think about in a car. And we're talking circa 1984. So check this out. This has things like, this even has an alarm system. Let me turn that off. Look at the digital dash on here. The digital dash on this car is awesome. Full nice tack in front of you, all your gauges, things like that. Digital climate control, all of that works. Matter of fact, let me start it. Upgraded audio system, and the audio system was super high end for its time. You know, the CD wasn't even invented yet, so uh, this has a cassette in it. Uh, we can certainly put a CD changer in the back, but here's one cool thing it does have. It has something called Body Sonic. And actually, the stereo system is inside the seats, and they're individually controlled. You can turn them up and feel uh, the music actually in the seats. Power antenna, power windows, cruise control, tilt steering, the stereo here on the steering wheel. You turn the volume up. Just very, very nice. Uh, anyway, just a loaded, loaded car. This is awesome here. It's got an accelerometer here. 
to show you how many g-forces for braking or acceleration that you get. Got a built-in compass. I mean, this thing was really ahead of its time. And it was very expensive for 1984. 49,000 original miles on the car right now. Also, the suspension is adjustable too. Uh, for firmness, you can set that right here. Has headlight washers. I mean, it goes on and on for, uh, for how many nice little features that are available on it. Just a cool, cool car. Anyway, uh, it's got a nice little sound to it. How about I rev it up for you a little bit? You can hear that too. I brought out my electric paint meter. I like to show, especially on a car like this, this is an 86, you know, it's a 25-year-old car, um, uh, how original the paint is. So let's take a walk around, and that uh, typically cars range in between four millimeters and seven millimeters of paint thickness, and they want to be pretty consistent all the way around. So the hood on this car right here is a uh, 5.0. Uh, the fender is uh, 6.5 there, sometimes thicker in other places than others, okay. Uh, 6.5 on the door, 6.5 there, 5.5 there. You know, as you walk around the car, that's really cool. So in between, that's only millimeters of thickness. It's one and a half millimeters of spread all the way around this car, which is really very cool. All right, another nice thing here we're talking about. There's actually some storage in this car. This shelf comes out, or you can use the tonneau cover to hide everything. Keep it all secret and safe. Uh, these are the T-top bags. The you know, T-tops also have liners that can go inside. If it's too bright and sunny, you can either have the glass T-tops or you put these clip-in liners in there and that will block out all the sun. But look from behind, even the chrome trim, the knobs on the seats, everything just really, really nice. This is one of those cars that's destined to be a classic one day. You know, when they build just a few of them, uh, when they have really low miles, they're very original, unrestored. Those are the cars that tend to bring really big money. On top of the fact, they're great to drive. And uh, this one here with a turbocharged engine, five-speed transmission, independent rear with limited slip, all the great bells and whistles inside and the gadgets. You got great power and great looks. It's an awesome, awesome buy. Anyway, we're Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Call us about this uh, anniversary, 50th anniversary, 300ZX Turbo, 301-816-1000, and we'll tell you all about it.